A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit uh, and guys today I'll teach you how to work with the motion tween in Flash CS 5.5. It's okay if you're working with version 5 because it's almost the same thing. The first thing that I'll do is I'll change the color of the stage to uh, a darkish gray and next I will choose the poly star tool and draw a star. Uh, before I draw a star I need to go to the options and make sure that I'm set to star so I'll change it from a poly star to a star I'll keep the number of size to 5 and I'll keep the uh, point size uh, star point size to 0.5 that's okay I'll uh, go with the defaults I'll draw a star guys and then uh, using the selection tool I'll draw a marquee around it I will hit F8 on my keyboard I'll convert the symbol to a movie clip uh, let me drag it inside the stage okay guys uh, now that I want to motion tween it, there are two ways I can go about it. I can either click on the very first frame, right click and say create motion tween or the easier way that I find uh, for myself is that I can right click on the object and say create motion tween. Okay, The moment I do that I get uh, to see 24 frames uh, over which the motion tween is supposed to happen. Automatically get these 24 frames now that I need to tween the object all I need to do is just drag the star to the newer position where I need to see the motion tween terminate so let me test it either I can just click on this uh, play button which may or may not be available with the uh, version 5 I'm not so sure or else you can just hit uh, ent the enter key on your keyboard guys so I'm hitting the enter key on the keyboard and you can get the simulation of the tween the way it's happening right now okay just in case I wish to and you can also see this green path along which uh, the motion tween is happening guys okay just in case if I wish to make the tween slower all I need to do is I need to go on to the 24th frame take my mouse pointer there unless it turns to an arrow head uh, a double arrow head pointing left and right then I can click and drag and um, then guys if I press enter the the motion tween becomes slower if I crunch this, uh, these n the number of frames to less than 24, it'll become faster. Okay. Uh, what else can I do? I can, guys, manipulate this path. I can take my mouse pointer closer to the path, unless you can see a curved kind of a shape coming up, a line coming up, a curve coming up, and then you can click on the path and you can drag, and hence uh, the uh, the path will be curved. Okay guys let me curve, curve it the other way all very good and just in case I decide to make the curve like an S shape all I need to do is I need to um, click on the star just nudge it a little bit okay and then I should be able to create an S shape kind of a path guys nudging the star shape was important otherwise it wouldn't be easy for you to get this uh, S kind of a shape alright uh, so I have manipulated the path in many ways and there's uh, yet another way I can do it I can uh, click on this sub selection tool the moment I do that guys notice that I get uh, certain nodes there's a node here and one here and uh, uh, this is the third one the fourth one and the fifth one here what I can do is I can click on any of these nodes and then I can uh, you know move the curves with the help of uh, these uh, handles that I get I can just drag the ends of the handles and I can then uh, manipulate the shape further I can fine-tune it further all very nice guys lovely let me test the movie by hitting enter on the keyboard let's hit control enter on the keyboard to get a published preview all very good well, let's see what else can I do um, I can then select the path there are two ways of selecting the path guys I can either click on the path by first uh, selecting the selection tool I can straight away click on the path or I can click anywhere between frame number 1 and 15 here and the path gets selected automatically uh, in the property inspector I can change the ease the ease uh, will be a value between minus 100 and plus 100 let me take it to plus 100 uh, the moment I do that uh, flash will show a message which says 100 out so it's an ease out an ease out means the guys the motion will start uh, faster and up slower let me hit enter on the keyboard to show it to you 
maybe it's not so evident now I need to increase the number of frames I'll drag it to let's say around uh, 48 and uh, let's do a control enter now I'm sorry I hit the enter button so if you notice guys it uh, comes to a halt a little slower that's ease out let me turn it to ease in so I'll select the path and uh, I'll set the ease to ease in this time hit enter on my keyboard again so it starts off slower but ends up pretty fast okay uh, what else can I do? I can impart rotation too guys I can uh, give rotation to the star let's say I want to rotate it uh, two times that's 360 plus 360 plus an additional rotation of uh, 80 so that'll make it 320 plus uh, 360 plus 360 that's 720 plus 80 that's 800 so in all the star should rotate uh, 800 degrees after I hit enter on the keyboard and indeed it does with the ease being in let me change the ease being out I, I love the ease being out and I can of course choose any value between minus 100 and plus 100 uh, let the rotation be a counterclockwise this time let me hit enter and show it to you so I can make the rotation be clockwise or counterclockwise and obviously you can set it to none the moment you set it to none the rotation vanishes let me uh, get it back to uh, let's say clockwise uh, it's, it's it automatically the rotation count goes to one times notice guys I'm going to do something now I'm going to check on this option orient to path the moment I do that you'll notice that the rotation will vanish that's the first thing and the second thing, uh, thing that will happen is we'll get key frames between 1 and 50 frames here let me show it to you orient to path checkbox is on now the rotation count has vanished also each and every frame is uh, like a keyframe now guys notice and uh, the way uh, the movement happens now the motion tween happens is a bit different please notice it carefully I'm hitting enter on the keyboard again and again okay now this time let me set the orient to path checkbox off and this time as well please be a little careful while noticing the way the motion tween happens guys see the way the star moves is a little different when it was set to orient to path it was actually um, it was actually turning twisting left and right when it was uh, uh, set to orient to path now it does not uh, twist uh, or change its angle it's standing erect all right all very good what else can I do guys notice uh, that there's a button out here oh before that I forgot to tell you that the paths that we have I can change the X of that which is I can move it left to right I can move it up and down using the X and the Y properties guys of the path I can crunch the width and the height I can expand and crunch it I can collapse or expand it all very nice beautiful okay now guys notice that the ease is set to 100 out right now also guys uh, if you will notice that uh, while you are, you are in the essentials uh, view the workspace is ass essentials right now I'm resetting it to uh, I'm resetting essentials now and notice that there's a tab which is just beside the timeline tab which is the motion editor tab now the motion editor tab allows you to manipulate uh, many properties the X property the Y property the scale X uh, scale Y property so on and so forth but uh, to be able to do that you first need to remove the ease so it should be set to no ease that's the first requirement you need to remove the ease and then uh, I can uh, let's say change the exposition of the star please notice the screen okay I can also manipulate through the motion editor the Y position okay or well, let's say I can go back to the previous uh, keyframe that is the, the first keyframe I can manipulate the Y there as well 
using the motion editor. So there are uh, so many properties uh, like uh, rotation Z, the skew X, skew Y, scale X, scale Y, color effects, uh, filters that I can add. Uh, and of course, uh, the last bit or the last uh, property that I can uh, impart or attach is the Eases property. Okay. Uh, to be able to uh, attach uh, the easing property or apply the easing property guys I need to first make it available right now the only easing that is available is simple slow I need to add few other easings so I need to click on this plus sign which says add color filter or eases okay let me add two other eases the spring kind of an ease and the mm, bounce kind, kind of an ease guys notice that uh, the springiness will happen or it will spring uh, left and right five times it will bounce four times I can change uh, these uh, values five and four as uh, well but I'll I'll leave it to four and five does this mean that the, the springiness and the bounciness uh, have been applied no it's we have just made it available to apply it we need to go right to the top and under the basic motion I'll need to change the ease from no ease to let's say a spring this time and uh, hit the timeline tab hit the enter key on my keyboard and guys you'll be able to see the spring kind of knees it has uh, sprung five times okay let me change the ease to a bounce this time let me hit the motion editor tab and change the basic motion easing to a bounce this time go to the timeline tab hit enter on my keyboard oh amazing let's take a publish preview control enter mmm awesome so that's the uh, motion editor for you guys uh, it will allow you to change uh, many other properties the X the Y it will allow you to add the uh, easings allow you to add the filters and change the colors um, make alterations to the tint please experiment with the motion editor guys uh, what else can we do I can guys even copy the motion let's say I right click anywhere on the path and then I say copy motion okay and uh, if I copy the motion where do I paste it for which uh, let's say I'll create one more layer and on that layer on the very first frame guys let's uh, make yet another uh, star this time a bigger one okay let me convert this one to a movie clip as well convert to symbol let's say okay and then let me right click the bigger star and uh, say paste motion <laughs> alright so the same motion that was attached to the smaller star has now been pasted to the bigger star let me do a control enter publish preview oh they're moving together mm. all very good let's see what else can be done I can click on layer 2 and then I can say mm, convert to frame by frame animation in doing so guys you'll notice all the frames uh, we have in all 49 frames get converted to keyframes let me do a control enter that does not alter the motion tween uh, in any way but then uh, later on it will make the modifications easier okay it will make the alterations easier so guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and yes uh, I almost missed on this you can even save your motion as a motion preset so that you can use it at a later time you can come back tomorrow and use it again so I, I click I right click on the path and then I say save preset as and then you can say Mohit's preset that's my name and say ok and uh, let's say I come back tomorrow and I need to apply it to uh, another star I'll make yet another star for which I need to create yet another layer ok um, yeah, ok and uh, let me first convert this to a movie clip convert to symbol say ok 
and then I need to apply the saved motion preset all I need to do is uh, I think I need to click on the symbol yes this symbol is the motion preset symbol and then under the custom presets we have uh, Mohit's preset and then I just need to say apply and guys let me do a control enter on the keyboard to show you the end product <laughs> nice dancing stars alright guys I hope you like this tutorial and you would uh, implement it on your projects I'll see you next time with yet another flash or dream viewer tutorial bye bye